boys good morning it's uh 703 and uh it's a little i try not to start my uh residential just try not to start making noise before eight so let's go let's go to uh my commercial that little commercial property and we'll mow that first um I so a lot of times, you know, I go to the houses, be there by about 7.30, and then I can use my electric weed eater for a little bit, you know, pick up some debris and stuff, and then I'm not mowing before 8. But anyway, today let's go to my commercial property. Got some uh, corn dogs for breakfast. I don't know how well you can see it in here because it's not really fully light yet in the morning, but hey. Oh, and I, I was supposed to get up a little earlier than I did. I usually wake up at like 5 and start doing mower maintenance or wash my truck or whatever I want to do. But today... Man, I woke up, it was 6.30, and I leave at 7, so I'm like, man, guess I'm riding dirty. <laughs> I don't think that sunset's showing up on camera, but it's beautiful. I mean, sunrise. It's pink. I don't think you can see it, though. done as you can see looks good from there all the way down so you got nice edge and uh, all on here I'll show you the back here's the back looking great up there by the little drain drain cap there's like a little bit of grass that I forgot to blow so I'm gonna get my hand blower go blow that off and be on the next one Boys, so you ask, you know, like, why am I weed eating like this gravel driveway part up in there? Dogs are barking, There's a dog cage right there. I gotta weedy this, do some weeds in here. But anyway, the reason why I'm weed eating all of it is because I, I already sprayed this before, as you see, it's kind of brown. But uh, these type of weeds, it's like very thin blade, almost like a needle, and so they, they don't seem to. Uh, the weed killer the roundup doesn't seem to catch on them very good and they're sticking up like a, a foot tall like when you stand back and look at a distance and so i'm trying to just knock them all down um and it's also really hard because uh so you can kind of see how it kind of looks fuzzy up there it's because it's all like high and this is all in the driveway and as you can see a lot of it is dead but like when you walk up on it, like when you get actually up close to them, you like, you can't see them. Like it's so weird, but anyway, part of lawn care lifestyle. I'm gonna get all this weed eaten and finish weed eating all this and yeah, keep moving. All right, boys, just snipped a few limbs off here cause I could see, I could see when I was walking through here that they are hitting me. And uh, you see the blue, that's where I spray. The weeds, 
you know, all these rocks all down there, all through there. I do some out back too. But as you can see, the yard kind of hard to see on this side, it's kind of shady. We've got some pretty nice stripes, not really, it's still dormant, but you can see over here, yeah, starting to come in a little Bermuda. So, all right, boys, let's get finished up, move to the next one. Alright boys, here's the backyard, so here's a little bit down by the lake and some bed area over there down along the sidewalk, got a few weeds I gotta spray here, you see some bed area, natural area up in here, some little ground cover stuff and other stuff, I need pine straw but the, this customer they never, uh, it's like a inherited house and the guy had died and so like in the last few years they have not wanted to uh, spend money on pine straw so the beds eh I keep the weed spray but overall they kind of look like crap because they need some more new new pine straw or mulch or something but you know it's just kind of how it is here front you see my truck through the trees up there. there's a yard right there it kind of wraps around behind the garage and uh, you see there's a yard up here You can see this, and uh, yeah, a little bit here, and then uh, a few sticks. But see, a little bit here along the road, a little over here, and uh, all right, let's get this finished up. Get out of here. Alright boys, we got a sandwich, lunch check-in, I'm probably going to try to eat this while I drive to the next yard. This one that y'all had just seen, a little mowing footage in the back, took me a little longer than I wanted to. The wind was blowing hard and it was, uh, it's a lot of stuff to pick up, some weeds to do and stuff, but anyway, so, can't take much time to eat, I got to keep moving, so let's keep moving on to the next yard. I got a sandwich homemade granola bar for my wife which is awesome um, see y'all at the next yard first off on the trimmer i want to say a big shout out to my man exterminator his channel the exterminator channel um he has a lot of these uh husky barn trimmers and his channel was the one where i got a lot of my info on um you know when i was deciding if i wanted to buy this trimmer so before we let's get started on talking about this trimmer but uh, I'll put the link to his channel down in the description. You know, long term, I got it in July. July of 18. And uh, it's a great trimmer. I love it. You know, I, uh, it's the 5, it's, you can't see it in this light, but it's the 525L. So it's not the solid shaft. It's just like the regular, regular shaft. Um, and it's a little bit lighter that's why i got it i mean it does not have the metal plate on the bottom just a plastic plate but i won't wear that anyway because i don't i don't have uh, employees and stuff so i don't drag it on the ground or anything but um 
I love this trimmer. No, no issues with it yet at all. Um, you know, you can hear a little bit of plastic buzzing a little bit at high RPMs, but you know, that's not at all a problem with the trimmer at all. Um, you know, it's just how it is. But this handle is totally fine. You know, some people worry about this um, because it's like on rubber bushings in here. And um, we even had a great guy that was thinking about buying this trimmer this week, and that's why I'm talking about it right now. And he was wondering about it. Um, or he was, you know, buying one of the Husky Runner trimmers. But anyway, so this handle has been not a problem. It works great as anti-vibration, no vibration. Um, and uh, you can see how much gas is in it easily. I like that. It's easy, very easy to start. Um, not too loud. Um, I, I run the Echo Speed Feed head on it. I don't love the Husqvarna head, at least for my conditions. The the blue button in the middle on the Husqvarna, like it gets a lot of dirt up and in, up inside there, and then it it gets out of balance, and so then it kind of wobbles. But um, but again, if you if you're not in really say, dusty conditions, let's say you're mid mid country or upper you know i don't i don't think that would be an issue i mean it, it, the head works great there's no issues with it um i just i prefer the speed feed head and so so that's what i've done with mine i put the speed feed head on there and uh it's been great so like i said running it non-stop since july and y'all know how like here in georgia and stuff you know i'm using this all during the winter you know just all the time you know i'm using it heavier like now in summer than i am in winter but i still use it a lot in winter freshening up the edges and cutting back you know winter grasses and you know just all kind of stuff the mondo grass the liriope and um you know ivy and you know just all kind of things i use it for um but anyway that's kind of the rundown on it you know um i think it's great i think uh i paid uh right around 300 bucks for it so they're a really good deal for what they are too and um it's got this little thing this little plastic part right here is like where your arm rests i guess so like it doesn't get hot i really like this choke knob too you just pull up on that guys there you have it i love it let's go around 525 uh long term review got a lot of hours on it and i love it so i would recommend it so one other thing that's really like the biggest the most important part about the husky runner trimmer is the fact that i believe it's 9.7 pounds so like one of the lightest commercial trimmers on the market and it, it is commercial and it does have a lot of power too i think it's like 1.3 horsepower or something so even in the bad you know grass it, it has no problem so it has a lot of power and it's extremely light no other brands can touch this trimmer you know spec wise so that's why i have it you know i'm not partial to any brand i'm going to use what's the lightest weight for the most power that's what i'm going to use and uh for now it's that trimmer so yeah keep that in mind i think these uh, uh sawzall is a must to have with you on my Lawn chair setup. I don't I don't leave the house without it. Always have this because like look at this. It's like a little dead tree, you know, maybe it's big around as your arm or leg. But it looks like crap and it's dead. So we're gonna cut this out of here, get it out of here. This little tree, gonzo. boys here's the back of this one
I don't know if y'all remember this one. A couple videos back, you know, I did all this straw out here and all around back. And so this one's almost done. Just gotta spray some weeds, trim the little bushes, edged everything. And um, we gotta go in the same neighborhood down the street a little bit. And, uh, whoo, we gotta give a lady uh, a quote for doing her yard too in this neighborhood. So. Her daughter, I just picked up her daughter and they thought I did such a good job over at the her, their daughter's house. They wanted me to come over there and estimate their house. So, that's what we gotta do before we finish up the day. So, let's keep moving. All right guys, here's the side yard. As you can see, straw looking real good. Yard's a little bare over on the side. But, uh, see it looks great over there. It's the backyard, right?